What is going on guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I shot this sequence in Turkey, it was all a handheld and I used my Sony a7 III. So this is my first ever tutorial video and I'm going to show you guys how I did some of the seamless transitions. So let's get straight into it. So I've got my two clips here and I literally started off the first clip panning up, stopping at this building and then panning up again. So you want to make sure that the motion is either going left, right, up or down. So in this case I started up and I stopped here. So what I'll do is first I'll cut out the bits that I don't need. So I'll probably start it here and I press Q as a shortcut to cut the front of the clip. So if I do play that now, I'll start cutting this bit which I don't need. So maybe here, I don't really need any of these clips here so I'll just drag it this way. So in the next clip, I gotta make sure that my footage is doing the same motion. Start from the floor here, and then I go up and I stop at the water, and then that's it. So what I'll do is I cut the bits that I don't need. Maybe just cut it here, and if I do play that, that should give a seamless transition straight away. Cool. So that's looking good already. It's not looking bad. So say you want to use the same transition now again. But this time you're going in a right motion, left motion, literally it's the same thing, same process. So on these two clips, I'm going in a right motion. And this quad goes right as well. So I can utilize that. So what I'll do, I'll cut the bits that I don't need. I'll cut that out. I'll keep playing. And as you can see there, I whip to the right. So maybe I'll cut here because I don't need all of it. So if I do play that now. It's not looking seamless at all. So what I'll do is maybe I'll start here. See if that fixes it. No, I don't really. So what I'll do is maybe I'll cut around here, pressing C to get the blade tool up and I'll cut and I'll press V again to go back to the mouse. I press R and I'll drag that to the left. So after I do that, this clip here is going to be sped up. So if I play that now, that's already looking a bit seamless. So if you want to get more seamless, you want to get a better effect, what you can do is duplicate these clips, drag it to the top, and I'll highlight it, and I'll replace it with an After Effects composition. The reason why I'm duplicating it is because sometimes After Effects messes up, and just to be safe, I know at least I got these clips at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and do that. So this is After Effects now, it's exactly the same composition. To make it look a bit more dynamic, what I can do now, right click, new, adjustment layer and what you want to do is type in blur, type in blur, it will come up and you want to go to CC Force Motion Blur. You want to drag that on into the adjustment layer. And literally that's it what you'll do will give it a bit more of a blur so the next clip will be a bit more seamless there you go so literally that's it you're good to go you can use these in your videos um, send me a link in the description to your videos and give me a thumbs up give me a subscribe and i'll see you later